Representative Phil King from Waterford submitted a bill to the House saying that municipalities do not have the ability to determine whether or not they want fracking on their campus or fracking on their city limits or not. What this means is that the state will be the one to decide whether or not they to allow fracking. This takes away the power from the municipalities. UTA is going to be the center of this controversy, and I hope that everyone here will look into fracking. I hope that everyone here will have this, this discussion with their friends and their family. Should we allow fracking on our city limits? What is the effects of it? Is it better for us than not to? Look into this, and I ask that everyone have this, this discussion, because in the coming few months, there's going to be a firestorm, and UTA will be at the center of it. My mom fought a seven-year battle of ovarian cancer, and her suffering finally ended last year when she passed away. Though I was happy she was no longer in pain, my pain was just beginning. Uh, faced with this overwhelming feeling of loss, uh, I knew that I had to do what I do best, and that is create. I had to create something as beautiful and as everlasting as her memory. The cello is about two mediums coming together, glass and wood, a father and son coming together to make and create music and memories. The glass and electric cello is about love. It's about glass. It's about life. But most importantly, it's about this.